Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. We will begin per usual with our opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come into your holy presence asking that you forgive me of all of my sins. That you hear this prayer, Lord, in thanksgiving because you have given us the health, the ability to open our eyes to the light of a new day. You have given the rest to our hearts, to our minds, not just our bodies, Lord. That is what you do. You give us more than physical rest. You give us the peace of mind. You give us that tranquility, that calmness that only you can deliver, and we praise your holy name for that. We ask that you bless us through this devotional, through this time of reading of the scripture, reading these texts, these articles that inspire our faith, that admonish us, that tell us of what we should be doing to continue in this path that you have shown to us, your children, God. We ask that you give us ears to hear and hearts to follow your word, hearts to obey what you tell us, Lord, because you know what is best for our good, for our health, for our growing, for edifying of our hearts, Lord. You know exactly what we need as well. If we are going through a situation that nobody else can understand, you understand us, Lord. You give us the answer. You give us what we need to have clarified. If we have become confused about something, if something is clouding our minds, you give us that clarity and your light shines through and gives us the answer. That is why you are the only one that we can seek in all circumstance, Lord. And we thank you and we praise you because we have that ability in this beautiful time, in this beautiful life that you have given us. Thank you once again, Lord. Be with all of us in all of our plans for the day, wherever we may go, that we walk hand in hand with you. I pray for all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our devotional for today is titled The Son of Justice. Written by Migdalia Ayala, translated by Nelson Baidas, and taken from the book Mesa de Fe, page 101. The biblical base is based off of Malachi chapter 4, verses 1 to 6. So says the Word of God For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly, will be stubble, and the day which is coming shall burn them up says the Lord of hosts, that will leave them neither root nor branch. But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves. You shall trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts. Remember the law of Moses, my servant which I commanded him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. Amen. May we be blessed through the reading of his holy word. The Son of Justice when the days are blackest, the storm rages, the hurricane winds are strongest, and the sky is covered with dark clouds, I feel that I have a ray of hope left, and I know that my refuge is in Jesus, the Son of Justice. Blessed is the man who has his strength in God, in whose heart are his ways for, even though he is going through the valley of tears, the Lord will comfort him. 
Lord, you are the son of justice that does not take away good from those who walk in integrity and makes the one who trusts in you very happy. Lord, have mercy on everyone who wants to be faithful and please you so that nothing prevents it. The burning day like an oven is coming, and all the proud and those who do evil will be towed. That day will come and burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, and will leave them neither root nor branch. Malachi 4, 1. O oh God, have mercy and deliver us from impiety. Those who have feared your name will have a different destiny. For there will be salvation for the just, and they will jump like calves of the herd, because the Son of Justice will have risen for them. Amen. May God receive all the honor and the glory. And what an amazing feeling this is. What reassurance it is to know that we have someone to look to when we are going through our darkest hour. To know that if we fall, we have someone that will catch us. That when no one else can understand us, no one else can lift our spirit, we have one who will save us from the poison of despair, depression, anxiety, fear, anger. My dear friends, knowing Christ, keeping the faith, and walking in this path will not take away the problems of this life. None of those horrible things will magically disappear, will be removed from all the harsh circumstances, the painful sicknesses, the hurtful situations, the dark moments where we feel we're at, we're at a dead end. None of that. And nobody is exempt from all of that. But we are all invited to call on to rely on, to seek, and find the answers, our solutions through that Son of Justice, that Redeemer, that Healer, is there 24-7, ready to just come to our rescue. However, we cannot be living a life full of sin, of immoral ways and corrupt habits, and expect for God to have an answer to our call just because he can. No, my dear friends, the scripture mentions that dire consequence for those who think they can live this way. And the article today quotes a heartful prayer that we should all unite to daily. Lord, save us from being impious. Save us from being dishonest and disobedient to your word, to your law, to your ways. Have mercy and help us fear you, to know you and believe under any circumstance that you are God and that you are our son of justice, that no happening, good or bad, change our perception of God's greatness and goodness and we glorify him, we magnify his name because we are able to have that son of justice, we are able to run to that Redeemer. Amen. May God receive all the honor and the glory. And I pray that you are blessed through this devotional, that we can truly try and strive to live in faithfulness so that when the trials do come, we know exactly who to go to. We know exactly where and who we find our answer in. Before we end the session, I kindly invite you to go over to our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading so we can continue being fed and uplifted with His Holy Word. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great Counselor, be with all of His children, now and forever. Amen. This was your sister, Kaylee Castaneda, hoping that you have a beautiful day.